the club chit chat with your DJ Miss Sophia right here on We Are Your Radio. We Are Your Radio with the home of the urban sound of pride, baby. That was rolling spice. Mm-hmm. Work, honey. Work, rolling. Uh, Sister Quintella, the ever-loving Sister Quintella Caldwell is my special guest today. And baby, you was in here twerking and everything. Yes, honey. I put you down for the young people, honey. I'm trying to get on, on over at Magic City, you know, because I... I ain't got my regular job right now, so I can still get out there and make it do what it do. Honey. All right now. Yes, baby. Now you said uh earlier you was talking about uh you and daddy get down, honey. So you still got it where you can go and, you know, handle that pole at the strip club? Well, you know my hip give out every now and then. Uh huh. But if they let the swelling go down on my lady parts, I can get up there and do a little <laughs> something, you know. <laughs> If, if they let the what? They let the swelling go down on my lady part. You know, so <laughs> you, you some... need a break every now and then. You uh, know? Uh, mm-hmm. yes. uh, yeah. So uh, your regular job, you say you're not working on your regular job. So what? what's your regular job? I'm a comedian. Oh, you're a comedian? Yes, oh, okay. I'm a comedian, honey. And because of COVID, you can't travel and do the booking and stuff like you normally do, huh? No, but I can get my ass on a greyhound and come down here like, you know, like I usually do. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. To come see Daddy. Yes, honey. I, over in Magic City, I do a powerful disappearing act, honey. <laughs> Now, earlier, you know, we live on YouTube. I have my kids watching on YouTube, honey. And Your children? Hey, yeah, baby! The laughing hyenas. Hey, ooh, they, 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 mm, the cackling laugh, yeah, hyenas. <laughs> the the laughing hyenas. The, uh, the laughing hyenas. What you call them? The laughing, the cackling hyenas. <laughs> 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 but they love them so, so fair, honey. They yeah. love so fair. Yes, and I love them back, honey. Mm-hmm. Now, the basketball about the NBA basketball players, you know, they boycotted the uh, the uh, playoffs the last two days mm-hmm. because of the co- police violence. And, you know, lately the police, they shot, you know, Jacob Blake. Mm-hmm. And so the basketball players, they didn't have enough. And everybody's wondering, like, why the basketball players boycotted? Because the majority of the basketball players in the NBA are black. And so they are standing up for other black men that are being killed at the hand of these white police officers. Mm-hmm. And then some people are said, like the president, Donald Trump, Trump said that, you know, nobody really cares about the NBA no more, honey. But what do you think about the black boys that are boycotting the NBA? I think they should. Be, just like uh, Carlos, what's the boy that put his fist up at the Olympics? Carlos, last name, you know, John Carlos, yeah, I think three. his name. Yeah. Three of them, mm-hmm. uh-huh. So it's been going on for many a years, and some things got to change, honey. Yes. But just as long as them basketballs, you know, because I love them basketballs, honey. You love basketball? Mm-hmm. But once the basketball players did it, then, like, everybody started, you know, boycotting. Like, the the, the the women, the WNBA, they boycotted. And then and the some of the boys, NFL. Boy scouts, the girl scouts, the uh, boys and girls clubs of America, everybody boycotted. <laughs> mm-hmm. Cause you know I marched with Dr. King. You you marched with Dr. King. Mm-hmm. Also, you was down there with John Lewis, Congressman John Lewis, and all of them. Oh, all of them. C.T. Right. Vivian. Yeah. Coretta Scott King. Uh, and them. And, and, uh, and, and them. And them. Mm-hmm. Oh, them. Them yeah. was down there. Mm-hmm. Jesse Jackson. So you still talk to Jesse Jackson? You talking about Messy Jackson? <laughs> <laughs> Why you call him Messy? Cause he just like Beyonce, Daddy had the baby out of you know he was married to the woman and had the baby on the side. Mm-hmm. You know, chick on, got you a got chick, a chick on the side. side. Sure, got you a got a chick. No, you got a chick on the side. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's not the only one. A lot of people have a lot you of You know, his son, they were lining him up to become president. He just threw it all away on mm-hmm. a couple of baseball cards or something mm-hmm. like that. Yes, honey. Uh, allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> no, they caught his ass. Uh, allegedly. <laughs> he went to prison, honey. Mm-hmm. That wasn't no allegedly, honey. They caught him, he went to prison. Uh-huh. He and his wife. I hope he didn't drop the soap, honey, because <laughs> he had a nice little cookies on the what? We shall overcome, honey. Who? <laughs> uh-huh. oh, oh, how many presidents have you voted for in your lifetime? Oh, let me see. Let me see. Jimmy Carter, Nixon, <laughs> Roosevelt, Truman, 
era. Eisenhower. Oh, my God. And we can, let's go back to past Roosevelt. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. You have been voting for a while. Oh, uh, yes, honey. And what you think about these young people now, you know, like people like Congressman John Lewis got beat up and, you know, hurt and some people done bled and died for us to have the right to vote and all these young people that's not trying to uh, exercise their right to vote. What do you think about these young people that don't vote? Well, if you don't vote, you can't complain. You got it's almost like you saying that you know you gonna let somebody sit back and and tell uh, do everything wrong, but you didn't get out and vote, and that's all you got to do. It not just get out and vote, but encourage others to vote also. Because mm-hmm. uh-huh. if they didn't, if your vote didn't mean nothing, they wouldn't be trying so hard to keep it from you. Hello. Uh-huh. You said a word right there. And we need to get as many people that's got our interests in office. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Trunk show sure ain't got it. Who? Trunk. <laughs> he sure ain't got it. Uh-huh. And you, are you willing to, because a lot of people talk about they don't have rides and stuff, you know. Are you willing to pick people up in your station wagon and take them to the voting poll on November the 3rd? Oh, absolutely. Just put a little something in the in the box for, you know, for gas money. Yeah, cash uh, app you. Uh, Vicious 9953. Yeah, V-I-C-O-U-S 9953. Three. 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 Oh, that's how you say it so fair. Yes. Three. Three. <laughs> you sound like a cat woman. <laughs> mm-hmm. Batman, why did you hit me? You know who would have made a good cat woman? Who? Uh, uh, Myra Angelou. <laughs> Hello, Batman. <laughs> Hello, Batman. <laughs> did you happen to have some meow? <laughs> She might have been a good cat woman. That's that. What the hell? What the? What's the woman? What the woman head? Oh, you know what? What you gotta do, my Angelou as cat woman again? <laughs> right, let me take my mask down a little bit. Hello, Batman. <laughs> you know I'm good friends with Opera. <laughs> <laughs> I know why the cage bird sing. Yes, man, I do too now. <laughs> <laughs> my Angela, you say who? Who you get ready to say? The other one. The other one. Oh, uh, Miss, uh, what's her name from the Jefferson? <laughs> Mother Jefferson. Uh huh. Mother Jefferson should have been what? She could have been Catwoman. How Mother Jefferson would have sounded as Catwoman? Judge, would you have Batman to make me a bloody Mary? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, girl, you gonna get us Sarah, you, you gonna get us you gonna get us put out Sarah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, I, I love the music that y'all play on We Are You Radio, yes. home of the Urban Sound of Pride. Yes, baby. You want our number. You a P1 listener. Yes, yes. Yeah, all P1 the time. listener. That's the person mm-hmm. that, you know, not only do you listen to all the jocks and you tell everybody about the radio station. Oh, Anytime, yes, anything honey. Go, you and Denzel, I know my baby, my, I laugh at her and Denzel. Hey, Denzel. Baby, y'all are P1 listeners, baby, honey. Oh, baby. Uh, but I'm getting ready to go to break. But could you <laughs> could you do one more time? My Angela as Catwoman. I am a phenomenal Catwoman. <laughs> oh, you got me something here. Hold it down right here. Where are you <laughs> We are your radio with a home in the Amazon sound of pride. Oh my God. All right, my Angelo. I'll be back in a minute. You have anything to say before we leave? Yes. Tell your friends, whether they're gay, straight, black, white, Puerto Rican, everybody just a freaking. Make sure you listen to We Are You Radio. Home of the 
What is it? Urban. Urban Pride, honey. Mm. Get the new We Are You Radio skill, then say, Alexa, play We Are You Radio. Okay, playing We Are You Radio. That's my favorite station.